Oh, this is the thumbnail right here. This is perfect, actually. Because it's got the camera out of focus. Yeah. And you're in focus. Yeah. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I get a lot of questions from you guys about my filming setup, how I go about making all of my guitar tutorials from what gear I use to how I edit my videos, what editing software I use. So I'm going to answer all of those questions for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of how I make a guitar goddess guitar tutorial. Because I know some of you guys are going to ask where I bought my gear and how much it costs, I'm going to go ahead and just link down below everything for you because I know sometimes prices change, but literally everything I bought, pretty much everything's from Amazon. So I'll just go ahead and link that down below. I love my Amazon Prime, but I know sometimes prices tend to fluctuate, so I don't want to like you know give you guys a price and then it's like not what I said it was so I'll just link it down below for you guys and I know some of this stuff can be a little costly up front and I just also want to put a disclaimer out there that I did not buy all of this gear at once this is all stuff that I acquired over time I did a lot of research into each piece of gear that I purchased I wanted to make sure that it was something that was going to work well for me, but I also didn't want to go over my budget. So welcome to the guitar goddess lair, as some, some like to call it. Um, this is actually my bedroom, and this is where I film really the majority of my YouTube videos, and I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys about my setup, so that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So this is my bed. This is, this is where I sleep every single night, but it is also where I happen to sit when I shoot my videos because it just works for me. Like, I am very particular about my backgrounds and so I have my camera set up over here. It just gets, you know, this and this and there and just, just what I like personally. Moving on to the camera here, I get a lot of questions on what kind of camera I use so I will show you my camera. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. A lot of YouTubers use this particular camera. Now, however, I am not using the kit lens that comes with it. The lens I actually purchased separately. So this lens was like a huge, this was a huge upgrade for me. This lens is actually the Sigma F1.4 30 millimeter lens. And it is amazing because it lets in so much more light and it gives you that beautiful blurred background. Cause like everybody loves the blurred background. This contraption on top of here is my shotgun mic. This is by Rode. My brother actually, he broke the piece that attaches to the uh, shoe mount on my camera. So I got it rigged here with duct tape. It still works, you know, I, I just work with it. The one number one struggle that I have as a YouTuber is focusing. Like I can't tell you how long it takes to just to sit here and like literally use my guitar as, as a reference to where like my body is going to be. And I have to make sure both my body and the guitar are in focus because we're like, you know, we're two separate bodies and like I can, I'm a little bit farther back than my guitar is. 
So I have to kind of like compensate, like meet in the middle of where that, you know, place is going to be. And so I'm like kind of like doing one of these, you know, kind of like reaching across and I finally, you know, like I do like a test shot. Sometimes I do like about up to three test shots and I'll have my place. The next part are these two big soft boxes here. This is literally like the game changer for me right here is having these because I used to have to just sit in front of a window and pray that I had a sunny day or a decently sunny day. So this kind of helps me film for any time of the day that I want. And these set up really easily. Like these only usually take a few minutes to set up, but I have to be careful because these can uh, kind of fall over very easily. I have them connected to a, an extension cord here. So that way, because the cords, the cables are not very long for this. It's my one gripe about that is that the cables aren't very long, but I make it work. And then when it's all lit up, so literally lights, camera, action. So this is what my space, you know, looks like. I'll go ahead and sit here and kind of demonstrate for you. So got my guitar. We are ready to film a guitar goddess vid. That's it. So it takes a little time to get it set up, but it's so, it's so worth it. Don't feel like you have to get everything that I have because I know that some things cost a little bit of money up front and I didn't have all of this stuff right away. This is all things that I acquired over a span of time. I actually started out making videos on my MacBook. Actually, let me show you guys. I still have it. This is like from 2008. Like this is, it's crazy old. Um, it's, it's definitely like, it's, it's, pretty much not usable anymore. I, I pretty much killed it. I've definitely learned my lesson about strenuous guitar tutorial editing on laptops. It just doesn't mix very well. So you guys are gonna see what I actually edit on now, but I've actually killed like two laptops over the course of like, that's been a lot of years. Since 2008, I've gone through two laptops. I would advise that if you do a lot of heavy editing, don't use a laptop. But I just wanted to show you guys up front, this is where I started out without any lighting, without any microphone, literally just this, like just the webcam right here and the microphone on board the laptop. That is how I made my videos. I edited them on here, uploaded them to YouTube. That is how I started. I didn't have any fancy equipment. So just because you can't afford certain gear right away doesn't mean that you shouldn't start. Because I feel on YouTube that people tend to be forgiving with video quality as long as you are providing awesome content. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, when I'm, when I'm not swiveling and, and squeaking in my chair here, I like to edit my YouTube videos. Oh, look what I did there. Oh, ooh, on the spot. So, okay, I get a lot of questions on how I edit my YouTube videos, what editing software I use, how long it takes, kind of like my style, what I do. So I'll quickly kind of go over that with you guys. So I, I have evolved with my editing software. I started out on iMovie, that's on uh, Apple-based computers, because I used to be an, an Apple fanatic, not so much anymore. Sorry, Apple, uh, not really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so iMovie, like if that's what you have, it's great, basic editing software, like super user-friendly. I recommend starting there. That's like, I literally self-taught myself on iMovie. Then I progressed, I moved up to Final Cut Pro X, and really love that, a lot more manual. Um, it, it just allows you to do a lot more. But now I've moved on to, I, I built this PC actually. I'll, I'll show you guys kind of my setup. So this, I actually like literally built this tower. Like, I, I mean, I didn't like craft, you know, the plastics and all this stuff. I didn't do that. Um, so I bought the shell and then I actually like inserted like all the drives and, um, all of the, just the, the hardware in here, the CPU, the motherboard, all of that stuff. And uh, so now I pretty much have a beast for editing my YouTube videos because I literally killed my laptop. Like my, my MacBook just died editing my guitar tutorials. We're just gonna go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. Pay, pay no attention to the messy desktop. Pay no attention to that. And this, this desktop is fairly clean. That's how, that's how I like it when I, when I work. Okay, so let's open, we're gonna open a tutorial that is probably already live, 
Um, so it, it's not now, but it will be by the time this video is up, I'm sure. So uh, this is my redone tutorial for All of Me by John Legend. And as you can see, there are a lot of different things kind of just going on here. So I'm going to enlarge this part here. So this is where I kind of like view my video in action. Now, each of these little graphics on here, like the text and the chord charts are on here. These are all like custom made by me, by the way. Like I actually like made this chord chart like dot by dot, everything like I, I did that. And um, I made the whole like play now. So these are all graphics that I insert. The, the chords, like this is E minor, this is C major, G major. So watch this, that way when it glides over, it's on E minor right now. Now it cuts to C major. So that's what we have going on here. And I have this whole like marble background and like a board around here. So that's like my, my custom thing that I really like to have in my tutorials. I feel like it's kind of like custom, like personalized. I, I, I really like doing that. It makes it fun for me. Um, but as you can see, as I kind of um, get out of this, that one section, this is the whole sequence now. Just like this video, by the way, is almost 17 minutes. So look at all these like little pink edits here. That's a lot. That's a lot of little edits. So this part right here, this big pink chunk, this right here is like the song. This is where I play through the entire song where I play all the different strumming patterns, all the chords, and that's like, that's where most of the editing happens right there. That's that's a lot of little edits. So I spend, I spend quite a bit of time editing my videos. I would say the process of making just one Guitar Goddess uh, guitar tutorial, I, I definitely spend most of my time in editing. I, I spend time pre-planning the video, so learning, figuring out the song, and then going into how I'm going to go about teaching the song, like how I want to interpret it, like if I want to use specific chords, like what chords I'm going to use, strumming patterns, picking patterns, things like that, and how I want to present it to you guys in a way that makes it really easy to understand. And then I go into uh, filming the video, and then if it if it turned out, most of the time it turns out I've had times where I've had to refilm it. Just one of those things. Um, so after I have successfully filmed the video, and it's on this little card right here. Insert it. And then I go ahead and I begin the editing process. And I can spend anywhere, like if I really want to get a video like up, like for example, if it's a Taylor Swift song that like she just released and like bam, I want to get it up. I'll probably spend, I could probably get it done in maybe like, if I'm like really pushing it fast, maybe 12 hours, maybe, maybe like, I don't know. I it's really hard to do a video in a day like I that that's like that probably be really strenuous for me so I usually spend typically like a couple days or so or more I've spent up to a week on a video before um, it just kind of depends on how my schedule is and how intense the the editing is but I've definitely found ways to, to try to speed up the process and yeah so that's a little little look into the editing process of a guitar goddess video so I hope you guys enjoyed having a little sneak peek behind the curtain of how I make my guitar tutorials. And again, start with what you have. Work with what you have. You don't need fancy gear right away. I mean, I built my channel off of just starting off on my laptop. And then I just slowly over time upgraded my gear. And your audience will totally be understanding of that. But I also know that back in the day, YouTube was a little bit of a different place where not everybody had HD cameras and uh, things things were definitely a lot different back in the day. And if you can't afford to get yourself a fancy DSLR camera, you probably still have a really good HD camera on you that you probably carry with you like all the time. Your phone. Most phones today actually have really amazing video quality, so use the better lens, not the selfie lens. The selfie lens is crap. Just use use the better lens and you will get the full resolution and it will look amazing as long as you have it, you know, propped up nice and steady and you're in a well-lit environment and try to choose a space that's not very noisy, that ha doesn't have a lot of background noise in it. And the onboard mic on here is actually pretty, it's pretty good. 
So for starting off with, it's actually pretty decent. Like I've watched a lot of videos where people just made them on their phone and you can even buy a tiny little mic to plug in. So that is my setup and everything that I use to film and edit my videos and some tips, obviously, if you can't afford to start off with this gear. So hopefully I answered all of your questions, but if you have any further questions, something maybe I didn't cover that you would like to see more of, maybe such as how I go about preparing a song and getting it ready, for video or maybe more in depth on kind of how I edit and things like that, definitely let me know in the comments down below and maybe it will make it into a future video. But I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, here it comes, yes. <laughs>